I don't even know how to feel about that. God, that is just... I'm biting down on his butthole! Alright, so, the ARC update just dropped and we now have the Pachyrhinosaurus, the Megalosaurus, which is actually the most adorable little guy I've ever seen, really. Like, look at this guy, look at him, he's- wait, what the shit's that? Is that- what, what the shit's that pink thing on his face? Is that his ear? It looks like part of his skull is exposed. That doesn't look healthy. Are you okay? Is that why you're sleeping, you're depressed, or you're- you're just like insecure about this mark on your face because dinosaurs are making fun of you now in- in high school? Oh, stupid. <laughs> we have the giant snail, which I'm not going to try and say it's... You can pick this up. Hang on a second. Hang on. What? Whoa, what? 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 All right. That's... Let's let's go ahead and throw this back down. Get get up. Get off me. Get out. Get, get, shoot. Get, get lost. Yeah. And we have the moss chops, guys. So, we're going to check these things out. I'm going to give you guys all the information you need all on, on these creatures. We're going to check them out on gameplay, combat, all that fun stuff. And, uh, I want to see the Packy Rhino against a trike. I want to see what happens when this guy right here fights, uh, uh, that thing over there. You see that trike? I want to see what the hell happens with that. Because the Packy Rhino is, like, pretty considerable or comparable in size to the trike. I think the trike would be a little bit more heavy and, uh, probably a little bit more dangerous because the trike has, like, those giant-ass horns on its head. So the stats are 450 health, really, at level 4? That's not much health at all. 125 damage. So, I feel like this guy's not going to stand a chance against this trike. Alright, time to line him up. Let's do this! You better- you be Wow, you attack fast. You attack really fast. Oh god, you're violently thrusting your head into the target. It's not a good time. Alright, rest in peace. Rest in pepperonis, I guess. I mean, damn. This thing freaking attacks fast. It has, like, speed on the trike big time. The trike's attack is, like- a third that strong, or a third that fast. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a battle video with this guy. I'm gonna have to have it, like, fight a dick ton of trikes. That's gonna be a thing! What about this attack? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, that's the passive attack. That makes the things passive. Oh, okay, alright. Oh, and then this is the aggressive attack, I assume. Is this guy gonna attack now? Look at you! Holy shit! It's actually attacking! Look at that! That's actually pretty incredible. I mean, I would- Oh, shit! Oh god, it's making everything attack it. That's not good. Don't do that. That's not- That's not a good time. Ye, get lost. Ye, no. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this little- Even passive creatures that are normally just not hostile as hell are now attacking. That's- Wow. Like, even these creatures, like, even if you attack them, they won't attack back. They're, they'll run away from you. You see this guy right here? Like- the freaking- this guy here would normally run away, he'd run for the hills. This guy over here, I don't- I don't think it'd attack you. I don't think- let's try it out, hang on, let's see. Yeah, see, he doesn't want anything to do with it. Damn. That's- that's actually working as intended, holy shit. I mean, I like- I like first person view a lot with this guy, cause like, you can see the nice crest around its head and stuff, and the detail put into that. I don't know how to feel about the body. The neck looks like it's freaking fat as hell, but I mean, hey, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fat shame the freaking packy rhino. It'll headbutt the shit out of me multiple times in a second, and it's- That's pretty scary. That's a really scary thought. I feel like this guy is gonna be stronger than the trike. Or, I feel like it is stronger than the- uh, than the trike. I- I really feel like that's the case. Let's go ahead and make this- this trike aggro on us. Hey you! How you doing? Your mom? Yeah, she's not such a nice lady. Yeah, now you're gonna be pissed off and attack me? I hit you. Are you gonna attack me, or- Are you not gonna attack me? Oh, there we go! Oh, shit, yeah! Yeah, the trike's attack is, like, a third the speed of this guy, so, like, as a starting creature, the trike could probably tank a little bit more, but this guy has its defense where, uh, yeah, you see, we just destroyed the shit out of that trike. Um, as a starting creature, this guy can do that freaking passive shit, though. This, uh, this attack right here, which basically makes it so things will stay the shit away from you, and they're calm, and all that stuff. I don't know if it'll work against a Rex. I'm gonna find a Rex, and I'm gonna give it a try just to see if it does work against the Rex, because, uh, I don't think it does. I don't think it's gonna work against really big targets. <laughs> Go back to the- <laughs> Alright. And then- Go passive! Go passive! Oh, it's not working against the Rex! It's not working against the Rex! No, no, no! Don't kill my packy rhino! You douchebag! Oh, you douchebag. So yeah, it definitely didn't work against the Rex. The Rex was definitely looking to eat that booty, and, uh, the packy- packy rhino died. Packy just is not strong enough to deal with a Rex. Can he not try and hit me? You douchebag! You're mine now. Oh shit, damn. He like- 
<laughs> he stopped that attack so fast. Holy shit. All right, so Packy Rhino obviously has the uh, the two attacks that, you know, stop things from attacking or make it super, super tanky. And that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to move from the Packy Rhino now to the Megalosaurus and see what the deal is with this guy. Now, this freaking creature right here uh, in the night or in the day. Whoa, that is cool. Holy shit. Look at its eyes. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. So, um, the Megalosaurus, in the night, uh, this guy wakes up, and it becomes far stronger than what it normally is in the day. But in the day, obviously, it looks for a spot to sleep, and it, uh, it does its own thing asleep, basically. It just, it's just kind of, like, lazy and doesn't do anything. Uh, also, on top of that, this guy's, uh, I think, I think his stamina? No. I think his, his attack damage? No. Uh, something is improved with this guy. A lot of his combat stats are improved. He becomes faster. He becomes more agile. He conserves his stamina. Uh, just... A whole host of things changes with this guy when night comes around. So right now he's starting to become his like prime self. He's like he's going from like 50 years old to like 20 years old. He's back in his prime out on the prowl and and bar crawling or something. I don't know. And then obviously in the day you'll find them asleep, being lazy little shits and just not really doing much of anything. Ooh, it has a nice roar. It has a really nice roar. Cool. I don't know what the shit that attack is. That's weird. I'm using right click. It doesn't have any sound or anything. That's actually really weird. All right, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Let's see. Hey, you, you want to get bit? You want to get bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just, wow, you died before you could even take off. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what, I feel like this guy would be a good match against the Carno, um, because I think the Carno would be, oh my God, that freaking Rex look freaky as shit. All right, let's ignore that Rex was even there. God damn, that, <laughs> that was actually kind of scary because like it's a, it's a dark Rex in the middle of the night. Um, but I feel like this guy would be a good match against the Carno, uh, and I'll probably do a battle video on this thing versus the Carno, actually, because I think that would probably be the fairest comparison as far as size go, because I, I think this guy's about the size of a Carno. He probably is. Yeah, I think he's about the size of a Carno. Yeah, you're about, you're about right there. So yeah, basically, it gets more dangerous at night. In the daytime, it's sluggish. Uh, when it bites onto a target, too... Oh, yeah, that's probably what that is. It'll bite down on a target and just not let go. It has, like, a, a bone-crushing grip or something. And, uh, it's just, it's just a bad time. Like, if it's a big creature like that thing right there, the, the Bronto, obviously, either A, can't bite on, or B, the Bronto will easily break free. But this thing will bite on and, like, pin smaller creatures. Now, I don't even know if it'll work against the trike. Wow, that was a violent shit. Alright. Let's just see. Nope. He's not latching on. He's not doing his latch thing. You better... There we go. Alright, so it is... Fairly freaking strong, though. Let's see its health. 1,025 at level 6 and 137% melee damage. So I'm not sure what that figure uh, turns out to from the percent, but from what we just saw, I mean, that's pretty freaking strong. Hey, little guy. Holy shit, I'm holding on to him with my mouth! <laughs> it's basically... It's just a ripoff of the Caprosuchus. I think the Caprosuchus, and it's, it's like ability to hold on to shit. It just doesn't have the leap. Oh... Oh, that's not okay. Oh, shit. That's not okay. We pick it up and then crush it in our mouth. Wow. Actually, that's kind of... That was actually kind of satisfying. That was oddly... It was like eating a giant jawbreaker. That's what it was like for this guy, I'm willing to bet. Except it wasn't really that jawbreaky. Because, you know, the thing was really small compared to it. And that's sad. That is... What a... I feel bad for that thing. Like, what a way to go. Can you imagine being picked up and then slowly crushed to death? That's shitty. What about this guy? Nope, can't pick him up. So, I mean, realistically, that attack is only good against anything that's, like, uh, maybe half the size of this guy, maybe? I mean, like, I thought, I thought the latch attack would literally be, like, I could bite down on this thing's tail. Whoa! What? What? That is okay, I guess. That's, that, oh, holy shit, I can, I can just drag things around with me now. Look at that, you're coming with me, little guy. We're gonna tame you. We're gonna tame you back at the house. That would actually work out really good for some creatures. Like, you could tame them. You could pick them up like this. Run through a forest. Or swim, apparently. Because this thing can carry something in its mouth. Not become top-heavy in the water. And, uh, and swim with it freely. Alright. Ow. 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 Ah. Ah. No. 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 Ow. What the shit's attacking me? Uh, just get up out of the water. I think it's a mega piranha. Mega douchebag. Hang on. Alright. Let's run with this guy. Ha. <laughs> That's actually... Wow. I don't even know how to feel about that. God, that is just... I'm biting down on his butthole! I just ate that thing's butthole in the air. What the shit? 
Seriously, that was freaking... That's not okay. This this guy is not okay. I think I'm going to try and change the map to daytime, and I'm going to see if this guy lays down or not. I don't know if it'll do it um, when it's uh, when it's tamed. Maybe it will. I don't know. Also, these guys are, like, really, really lazy, apparently, in the day. So, like, they shouldn't be too much danger at uh, in the day, but, like, at night... Stay the shit away from them if they're wild. Because uh, they will ruin you. And apparently, like, I'm I'm assuming they'll be able to pick up a human and do what they just free what it just did to, to like the, the, the thingy over there. Like that's that's what this thing will do. That what a horrible what a horrible way to go. Like that is that is a really shitty way to go. Oh, there you go. It's so adorable though. Like it it's it's the thing of nightmares because of what it can do to you and when it picks you up, it doesn't it just doesn't give a shit. Oh god. Uh Whoops, my bad. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a thing of nightmares because, like, of what it can do to you when it picks you up in its mouth and, like, decides to destroy your life. But, I mean, at the same time, it's, like, adorable as shit. Look at this guy. Like, it's, oh, it's so cute. Like, there is something oddly cute. I think it's the fur on top, too. Like, having all this fur and stuff on the very top of it. I think that's fur. That's not feathers. It looks like fur to me. But yeah, um, <laughs> having all that on top of it just makes it look that much more docile and just nice. Get up, little guy. Time to wake up. What sleep debt? Oh, oh, okay. I know what that is. All right. So if it's up, okay. All right. So it's, I guess its stats are impacted based off of this. So how fast is it in the day? Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. It is way, way, way slower. Like, way slower. And then at night, it was actually really, really fast. I wonder if this guy could pick up a Carno. Maybe. Yeah, this guy is completely nerfed out when he can't sleep. Like, it is completely nerfed out. It's ba This is basically useless. Like, this... Oh my god, look how slow the attack is. That's freaking bad. Holy shit. What about its health? D did the health go down? No? Nothing went down. So the stats don't actually go down or change dynamically. It's just this guy becomes a slow as shit piece of shit. Basically, this is probably the shittiest creature you could ever have on Ark in the daytime. But at night, goddamn, does it ever destroy shit, guys. Like... We're gonna see what happens when it reaches its maximum sleep debt. Oh, look at that. Its torp is going up like crazy fast. So this guy is just gonna fall unconscious either way. Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it's almost at maximum sleep debt now. Let's see. Are you gonna do anything good, sir? Are you gonna do anything fancy? Are you... Look how tired it looks. This freaking head's just looking down. Or maybe that's just me. Oh, that was just me. What? Do you not want to move now? Wow, it's so slow, dude. That's maximum sleep debt. All right, come here. You got to follow me. <laughs> Watch it just it just decides to sit down and sleep. Oh, you poor little guy. That's actually kind of cool though. I like how they added fatigue to the game. Like it's a thing. I like that. This guy is maximum sleep debt. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. That's a cool mechanic. I like that. Kind of. I won't play in the day now. I'll only play at night, which is more dangerous, but you know, hey, you get you tweets their own. Tweets their own. Alrighty, so the last two creatures are the Moss Chops and the Giant Snail. The Giant Snail is actually kind of cool. It's disgusting, but it's kind of cool. So the Moss Chops are first, with the information on this guy. This thing can eat anything at all. So, like, you throw an asshole at this thing, it'll eat it. If it's a pickled asshole, it'll probably like it even more. Um, you can tame it to, uh, or you can teach it to, uh... Yeah, there we go. Harvesting levels right there. Yeah, you can tame it so it will basically pick um, certain things. So, like, you can make it so it will get rare uh, rare flowers or raw prime fish meat. Or you can make it so it will get uh, raw prime meat, sap. I mean, like, there's a bunch of different things. Like, if you select one... Like, over time, you can teach it to, uh, you can teach it to get this stuff, basically. And it will harvest that as the primary. Let me just close out. Shit, I did... Let me, let me go. All right, fine. I'll use the freaking thing. There we go. Um, it won't fight for you guys, so if you tame it, don't bring it out with you, expecting it to save you like a giant bulldog. It kind of looks like a bulldog, actually, but um, don't expect it to save you. It's not going to save you. I can guarantee you right now. It's going to run away. If a butterfly came over here now and landed on me, it would probably run away. It would probably sh just shit its pants. Shit, it, shit the ground and, and run away. But yeah, that's basically it on the mosh chops. And this guy over here, let me just see its inventory. Let me make this thing walk around, actually. So this thing has a particular use. It's not really used for combat because it can't really fight back. Yeah, look at that. 
Look at that. Look at that right there. It's leaving, leaving these little nuggets of assholes and sadness. There we go. So that's a paste. Now that looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look familiar. It's like the same as cementing paste and can be used for things as cementing paste, but it's like the fecal matter or a, a waste product that this guy leaves. Now, I don't know if it's only when it's moving around, it leaves the trail of slime and stuff, because like it said, it left a, a trail of slime behind it as it moved. I don't really see any slime, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't see anything at all. But um, it does make cementing paste, and uh, it doesn't actually like have any feces or anything. It just shits out that cementing paste stuff, basically, and it's... Quite literally useless, other than that. Now, from what I've seen online, too, uh, creatures won't really try and kill it too much, because, like, it's such a small meal, but a free meal is still a good meal when it comes to, uh, when it comes to Ark. I wonder if the Trilobites would attack. Would they with the Packy Rhino? Probably not, because I don't even think they have an attack animation. They probably don't. He had 75 health. I was stupid and just upgraded it. 125 melee damage, which is stupid because, again, I don't, I don't think it can even attack. Then again, it's face. Look at that. Hang on. Let's, let's just, let's just see. Do you have a mouth? Oh, shit. No. Uh, uh, no. This is, this is awkward. I'm inside my pet. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Why can't I? Why can't I scroll out now? That's not okay. Oh. All right. Whatever. But yeah, you guys, those are the new creatures. I'm going to go ahead and do a battle video. I'm the Packy Rhino versus the Trike and the uh, the uh, Megalosaurus versus a Carno or something. Now, I'm going to obviously have to do the Carno one at night because otherwise, the thing's going to be useless. Literally going to be useless. And that kind of sucks ass because I hate recording at night. But I guess that's the card that we've been dealt. Either way, I hope you guys found some of the information useful or you learned something from this video um, about Ark and these new creatures. Just be very careful with these things because uh, some of the new creatures coming out can be buggy. And uh, I've seen it before where like a creature was released and then like because you tamed it, everything that you tamed is like untamed or some weird shit happens. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. It helps me out a ton, guys. I appreciate it a ton as well. If you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? And I will see you in the next video. No, there's nothing inherently special about that where he sees a specific peril. This was something.